I wouldn't chase it necessarily. I never, never chasing the stock, but this is a name that we've been in for a very long time. So we have really enjoyed Tesla. It's, it's. I think we will go back in history and evaluate what Elon has done over the last, you know, three months or so, getting into the election, getting involved as one of the great moves by an entrepreneur. Also, a very risky move if it would have went the other way. I think to a degree. So evaluating that and seeing what he has done, I think it opens up whole new potentials for Tesla. Again, I wouldn't chase. I would look for weakness and look for pullbacks after the week you've had last week and then obviously a great start what it's looking like to be this week for tesla it could move higher but there could be opportunities in the future i think what elon did he might have opened up a whole new demographic for teslas for people that would never really buy an ev they were focused on ice vehicles but now with according to ives while a trump administration might negatively affect the broader electric vehicle ev market it could prove extremely beneficial for tesla I do. I mean, we're hearing it from our clients, clients before that would look at a Tesla and be like, oh, no, that's, you know, th that's maybe even the left hand side of things that we're, we're not ever looking at an EV vehicle are now talking about it. They're talking about Tesla's. They're talking about Elon. They're talking about, hey, you tell me a little bit more about this kind of vehicle and what it means for the future. I do think that it leads to more sales. We're probably not going to see that right away, obviously, because the numbers are going to take a while to play out. It's going to take a while for those people to get involved and interested. He speculated that under Trump's leadership, Tesla could speed up the rollout of its full self-driving FSD technology and the cybercab, Tesla's planned robo-taxi service. What's your initial take on this? Of course, as I said, we, we had it being discussed across the campaign trail. Now it seems like it could actually be coming to fruition. Yeah, so well, it's, it's, it's a little bit uh, unclear as yet how this would work out. Uh, Musk, who of course is the world's wealthiest man and has many, many uh, government contracts, uh, might come into the administration as sort of a um, uh, employee of somebody who was in there temporarily, um, a, a sort of a, almost like an informal designation. Uh, it, but it, but it much has to be worked out, and um, but it's it's still a uh, remarkable uh, announcement. Ives explained that although Trump would likely eliminate federal EV tax credits, this could work to Tesla's advantage by enhancing the company's scale and market position. And can we expect any sort of pushback? Oh, uh, well, certainly. I mean, there will there will be objections and criticism. Um, but, uh, you know, I mean, Washington is uh, understandably nervous, as, as they are, you know, I, I, there's a certain... Shares of Tesla have jumped nearly 40 percent since President Trump's electoral victory last week. As of yesterday's close, those gains have lifted Elon Musk's net worth by about $70 billion to close to $320 billion. That's according to Forbes. That puts him ahead of Larry Ellison, who is now the world's second richest person by nearly $90. That's uh, 90, $90 billion. $90 billion. Uh, Elon Musk is ahead of him by about $90 billion. There was a Bloomberg report talking about how hedge funds betting against Elon Elon Musk had lost about $5.2 billion in paper losses since the election last week. Anybody who was shorting the stock obviously has gotten hurt pretty badly. Uh, right now, shares of Tesla at $340.28. Ron Barron's chortling somewhere. Um, but uh, we're back to Brewster's millions. I think this is the dream scenario for any Tesla bull I've said. A Trump win could add $40-$50 dollars per share to Tesla's stock right off the bat, potentially propelling its market cap to $1 trillion or even $1.5 trillion. From an EV perspective, losing the EV tax credit might sound negative at first, but it actually benefits Tesla from a scalability standpoint. Dan Ives at Wedbush raised the firm's price target on Tesla to $400 from $300. He calls Donald Trump's White House win a, quote, game changer. For autonomous driving and AI, he anticipates a federal regulatory spider web will be cleared. That's another quote. However, the president-elect promised to eliminate EV tax credits, some arguing that could benefit Tesla, but that's a little bit more of a twisted logic. In a CNBC interview, Ives described a Trump victory as a dream scenario for Tesla investors, predicting that it could push Tesla's market capitalization as high as $1.5 trillion under a Trump presidency. Posted on November 6, 2024 by Simon Alvarez. Ives also believes that a Trump administration could accelerate Tesla's self-driving vehicle initiatives. He speculated that under Trump's leadership, Tesla could speed up the rollout of its full self-driving FSD technology and the cybercab, Tesla's planned robo-taxi service. Trump would likely fast-track autonomous FSD development, Ives said. The cybercab could be pulled forward by about a year. 
If you're a Tesla bull, this is exactly what you'd want to see. Musk would likely have a significant influence in a Trump administration, and I believe fast-tracking autonomous driving would be a top priority, despite regulatory challenges. Musk has been vocal about this initiative, especially with the vision of Robotaxi, and this could unlock massive opportunities for Tesla and Musk in the AI space. It's a dream scenario for any Tesla bull, said Dan Ives on CNBC's Your Money, Your Vote early Wednesday. This could add $40 to $50 per share to Tesla's stock right away, potentially pushing the company's market cap to $1 trillion, or even $1.5 trillion. Tesla, which has gained just 1% so far this year, had a market cap of $807.1 billion as of Tuesday's close. However, shares surged more than 13% in pre-market trading Wednesday, following NBC News projections that the Republican nominee had gained a significant lead over Vice President Kamala Harris in the Electoral College. Ives pointed to less regulation under a potential Trump administration as a major positive for Tesla. He suggested that while Trump may end the electric vehicle tax credit, it could actually benefit the company by allowing it to scale more quickly and efficiently. Additionally, Ives sees the Trump administration fast-tracking autonomous driving as another growth catalyst for Tesla. He noted that Tesla's recently unveiled Cybercab, an autonomous vehicle, could be pushed forward by about a year potentially bringing the vehicle to market by 2027, earlier than Musk had initially anticipated. Ives' optimistic view on Tesla contrasts with a more mixed sentiment on Wall Street. Of the 54 analysts covering the stock, 22 have a strong buy or buy rating, while 20 have a hold rating, according to LSEG data. Tesla's average price target implies a more than 12% downside from Tuesday's close. As Trump nears the threshold to secure the presidency, Ives remains bullish on the potential impact a victory could have on Tesla's stock. What happened Wedbush Securities analyst Dan Ives believes Tesla could see significant benefits under a potential Trump administration, even as the broader electric vehicle EV industry faces challenges. In a post on X formerly Twitter, Ives explained, The biggest positive from a Trump win would be for Tesla Musk. He noted that while a Trump presidency could negatively impact the EV sector as a whole, particularly with the potential rollback of EV rebates and tax incentives, Tesla itself could still benefit from such a scenario thanks to its competitive scale and pricing advantage. Despite recent pressure on Tesla stock, particularly following the disappointment surrounding its Robotaxi event, Ives remains optimistic. He joined Yahoo Finance's market domination to discuss his continued bullish stance on the company. In 25 years covering tech, I think that event was one of the most eye-popping historical moments I've ever attended, Ives said. While critics have questioned the event and raised doubts about the state of Tesla's technology, he draws parallels to past skepticism about innovations like Apple's iPhone 16, which he believes will drive a new super cycle for Apple Apple. Ives believes that many analysts fail to grasp the long-term potential of Tesla, especially in areas like autonomous vehicles. If I look at the cybercab, the autonomous future, where this is all going, I think this is going to be the start of a whole new company at Tesla, he said. He acknowledged the lack of details at the event but argued that the broader vision for Tesla's future is being overlooked by many in the industry. He added, The way so many analysts have missed stocks like these going from $1 trillion to $2 trillion to $3 trillion is that they try to find everything in spreadsheets from the 10th floor of their New York City office building. On the other hand, analyst Kawasaki shared a more cautious outlook. I'm not buying any more Tesla shares at this point, he said. He explained that while his firm had made a lot of money from its Tesla position in the past, they've been reducing their stake due to the ongoing challenges Tesla faces in achieving full self-driving technology. Kawasaki also noted that he didn't believe a potential Trump presidency would solve those challenges and questioned whether Musk's relationship with Trump could divert his focus from Tesla's core mission. He says, if you want to own Tesla, go ahead. It's similar to how I feel about Bitcoin BTC USD. If you want to own Bitcoin, then do it. I can't predict what either will do. Tesla is part of our portfolio's risk mix, but right now. The bigger risk we're taking is in areas like computer chips, specifically with companies like Nvidia and VDA, because Tesla and Elon Musk are pouring so much into Nvidia. For me, Nvidia is the play to focus on over the next several years. Elon Musk led Tesla saw its stock price surge by more than 14% on Nasdaq just hours after Donald Trump secured his second term as US president. The spike came after the president-elect mentioned Musk in his victory speech in Florida. Tesla shares opened at $284, 
and 67 cents and rose to a high of $289 and 59 cents, marking an early jump of 15%. At one point, the stock was trading at $289 and 41 cents. He's a character. He's a special guy. He's a super genius Trump said of Musk during his address to supporters. We have to protect our geniuses. We don't have that many of them, the president-elect added. Musk responded with a playful message on X, sharing a photo of himself carrying a sink into the White House's Oval Office, a reference to the time he brought a sink to Twitter headquarters after acquiring the company. Let that sink in, Musk wrote. Dan Ives of Wedbush noted that Tesla's size gives it a significant advantage in the electric vehicle market, particularly if Trump follows through on his plans to eliminate rebates and tax incentives for EVs. In the months leading up to Election Day, Musk was one of the biggest political donors, contributing over $130 million to Trump and Republican candidates, particularly in key house races. Reports also noted that Musk voted in Texas before flying to Florida to watch the election results with Trump and his family at Mar-a-Lago. His PAC shared a photo of him sitting alongside Trump and UFC CEO Dana White during the election festivities. Musk is new to politics, but for a billionaire and tech mogul to fully back President Trump means a lot, said John David Longo, the Pennsylvania State Director for Early Vote Action, an organization focused on registering Republican voters. In an interview with the AP, Tesla's stock jumped 12% in pre-market trading, reaching its highest point in over a year after the election results came in. Fox News was among the first to call the presidential race for Trump early Wednesday morning. Just a few hours later, CNN and other outlets confirmed Trump had surpassed the 270 electoral college votes needed to secure victory. Wedbush securities analyst Dan Ives described Trump's win as a homer run for Tesla. Elon Musk's role as a business ally to Trump has definitely caught the attention of investors, pushing Tesla shares up by 3% in pre-market trading on the election news Ives noted. Musk had been an outspoken supporter of Trump throughout the election, campaigning for the president-elect and even appearing with him on stage at a rally in Butler, Pennsylvania. In his victory speech early Wednesday, Trump acknowledged Musk's support, calling him a super genius and a new star. Gene Munster, managing partner at Deepwater Asset Management, attributed the rise in Tesla's stock to an emotional reaction from investors who are confident in Musk's leadership. The sentiment is that Elon took a big risk and it paid off, Munster said in a post on X. This boosts investor confidence that Musk's next major move could be just as successful. However, some analysts view Trump's victory as a potential overall negative for the electric vehicle EV industry. Despite the surge in Tesla's stock price, a Trump victory could spell trouble for the broader electric vehicle EV market. Dan Ives a well-known analyst, suggested that a second Trump administration could be overall negative for the EV industry. He pointed to the potential rollback of tax incentives and rebates for EV manufacturers as a significant risk. However, Ives also noted that Tesla could emerge as a huge positive in this scenario, thanks to its market dominance and scale. Tesla has the scale and scope that is unmatched in the EV industry, Ives explained. This could give Elon Musk and Tesla a clear competitive advantage in a world without EV subsidies, especially with the likely increase in China tariffs. These higher tariffs would continue to hinder the entry of cheaper Chinese EV brands like Bide and Neo into the US market in the coming years. Tesla is facing increasing competition in China, where rivals have been introducing their own electric vehicles at lower price points. Bide, based in China, has become Tesla's chief competitor, surpassing it as the world's largest seller of electric cars earlier this year. In another sign of its growing dominance, Bide recently reported quarterly revenues of 201.1 billion yuan $28.2 billion, a 24% increase year over year. In comparison, Tesla's revenue for the same period was $25.2 billion. Tesla did not immediately respond to a request for comment from Business Insider outside of normal working hours. During a rally in Florida, President-elect Donald Trump praised Elon Musk, calling him a character and a super genius he emphasized the importance of protecting such rare talents, stating, we have to protect our geniuses. We don't have that many of them. Musk, known for his quirky sense of humor, responded on X formerly Twitter, posting a photoshopped image of himself walking into the White House's Oval Office with a sink referencing his famous stunt when he brought a sink to Twitter's headquarters after acquiring the platform. Musk, 
whose companies are major players in the electric vehicle market, has seen his influence grow in recent years, especially as the US faces potential shifts in policies surrounding electric vehicle EV incentives. According to Dan Ives, a Wedbush analyst,